Hello, this is Coffee Hair and Retro Shark, and welcome back to another Three Credit Classic. This time, we are turning our eye to Taito in a game called Night Striker. AD 2049. In the futuristic metropolis, we found Dr. Livery, Livery Masca, a worldwide authority of laser optics, has, who has been missing for some time, has been captured by his beloved daughter by a mysterious underwar, underworld organization, which is based somewhere in the Orient. There seems to be some connection with the terrorists. Uh, it seems to be rather vague. It's like we've, we've found someone, uh, they seem to be. But yeah, this is a pretty interesting mix. As you can see from the uh, track screen, it's a bit uh, space area. So let's pump in our first, well, we'll pump in our three coins, because here on the three credit classics, we see how far we can get on the three credits, which is about the amount I'd have to spend on any arcade game back in the day. This is one I didn't actually play on, at all until very recently. But yeah, it's, it's really, really good. There we are, three grades. And let us start. Mysterious city attacking terrorism group. The uh, dialogue is quite amazing in this game. An emergency order to Night Striker. Undertake actions, defeat terrorists, and go directly to headquarters. It will be a form of detail actions. Stage A in a large city. Now I heard this described as a mix of space area and outrun. You might be wondering where the outrun, uh, apart from the sprite scaling, where the outrun connection comes from. We'll, we'll see that. But yeah, this is. Yeah, Sega may have like, revol uh, like revolutionized uh, sprite scaling and made it like a, uh, their own thing, but yeah, Taito. Made a really good effort as well, and title sprite scalers are one of my like, new favourite uh, arcade to game type. It's very simple to control for this, just one button. One thing, one cool thing is that the stage is not don't have stay there welcome, it's very quick, it's almost like a boss rush. Kind of uh, giant, well, yes, say giant, this is the scale, the scale of our car. Giant helicopter, VTOL, stage complete. Let's land. If we should hold them. So you got a, a route to go through, so let's go through the canal, we'll go to the sea route. Which makes it very real. The short stages and the route map make it very replayable. And it's just a lot of fun. That's some kind of weird worm thing, but yeah, here comes some uh, cool, uh, whoops. Some cool, whoa, watch these pipes. There we go. You can just hold down as well if you want to, which helps. Oh, shields going down. But yeah, the music is fantastic as well. Oh, be careful. No, no. Gosh, it's... Oh, pass with only one. Two shields left. It's actually get a... Um, home console conversion to the PlayStation. I think perhaps Saturn as well, but it's just a very bare bones one. It never made it its way into Japan. And it's basically just a straight arcade conversion. Nothing, no extra thrills. Hey, we did it. Which is which is sad. I, I would love I would love some like tunnel or sky. Let's go for the sky. Nice open spaces. But yeah, considering like I would love some Cheesy live action FMV 
or some like statuary style cuts, animated cutscenes. So far to hold on to our uh, our shields. One thing, yeah, it's not it's not particularly punishing game, which is like refreshing as well. Oh, good there. Well, last time. Three mecha. Oh, no shield. Oh, are we going to lose our first credit before the end of this? We must weave and dodge, dodge, and we. Come on. Yes, we made it. You get a lot of playability if you're if you'll be great with we'll C seal tunnel. Let's go for the uh, C. Less chance of uh, tight spaces. Many like weaponized junks there. Yeah, with the visuals and the music and the frantic action just, just combined to like just a fantastic experience. And you think it would have found a way to like just claw a credit out of us already? Like I've read in so many uh, operators' manuals for arcade games, the Optimal time is considered 2 minutes 30 seconds per credit. I've already been going uh, quite a bit than that. I think we better spend our first one any second there though. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm still there. Uh, still got a bit of a uh, lingering uh, bit of flu. Oh, you are dead! Come on then, up we go again. Back to five shields. Yeah, this this this, work, this enemy is very space ready. Hara, Havia, E. Ah, uh, twin worms. One's almost gone now, so... Should get a bit easier in the second now. Oh no, careless. Oh, that was, that was so careless. Oh, look at that. Suburbs or factory. Let's go to the suburbs, the leafy suburbs. What must at the end look? One more, two more stages.
to have this vibe along to these amazing tunes. Oh no, come on, no, no, no. Getting tough now. Wait, there's flying tanks, that's that's unfair. Oh, home the on us. Oh, that's... Oh, one more credit, this is our last credit. When will we see end? Oh no, that was... Ah. Damn it. Here we go. Oh, it's gonna be tight, I'll be very careful now, spin now. Four shields. Very carefully now. I see a smell of black armament. Oh, look at that. That's... Oh no! These are merciless. Oh, damn it. That was merciless. Yeah, that was pretty mercilessly. Merciless. I feel that must have been, might have been like a little... Let's go to the city. I think that might have been like a bit of a, uh, a credit muncher. Because it was very hard to... Helmed in with precision. Last stage in the large city destroy. Defeat the gold helicopter of the terrorists and organization boss. Good luck. Oh no, we got uh, oh no, we got barriers to manage as well. Oh gosh. We got two shields. Can we do it? No. Gosh, damn it. Too much on screen, too much going on, just keep weaving the. That's it, friends. Oh, defeated right at the end. The terrorism organization will win. This is a very cool, reminds me of that Die Hard trilogy, the uh, high score mechanic there. Well, almost. We'll have to try it again another day. But yes, thank you for tuning into this uh, another episode of Three Credit Classics, a single game this time. But yeah, what what a game! I yeah, I definitely I can't remember if this is on the one of the Taito compilations for for uh, six gen consoles. I'm not sure. I got to double check, but yeah, um, there is a PlayStation release i think saturn as well it's you know, it's very bare bones but it's worth it's a, it's a way to play it doesn't have the pizzazz if you don't have mame available but yeah give this a go it's such such fun and uh yeah until the next three credit classics this is coffee home retro charco saying have a good day and signing off